Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. Today we're going to talk about the June 2023 book club choice. It was picked by Candace. It was a recommendation from me. Um, and so I'm very interested to see if they liked it. And that was A Match in the Making by Jen Toronto. Yes, I have already read it. It is Christian historical fiction. It is romance. It is a little bit of a mystery at the end. Hi, Fireball. Come to say hi. Whoa, oh, good girl. Whoa, oh, good girl. Yeah. Okay. Can you lay down? Yeah. Okay. Lay down. Um... So, it is set in the Gilded Age era in American history. It's set in the Newport, Rhode Island during the summer. And our heroine, I believe her name is Gwendolyn. If I'm wrong, I will put her corrected name down here. Has taken a position as a companion to one of the 400 for the summer, she needs a break from her normal job with her cousin. And the girls are still playing very hard. Can you lay down, please? No. Fireball, settle. Fireball. So, she accepts the position. She does not know at the time that the lady for whom she is working for the summer is a matchmaker. And her assistant matchmaker quits, and suddenly Gwendolyn is thrust into the role of assistant matchmaker and forced into all these uncomfortable positions and choices she didn't anticipate. And soon enough, she runs across our male protagonist, whose name I forget, and I will put it down here. And finds out what she's doing because he's the catch of the season he's a widower he's got two kids all those you know prospective young brides think he's the catch and he finds out what she's doing he demands to be a client instead of a potential suitor she says no her boss overrules her and so she's continually thrust into his sphere. She handles his kids so well. They are snarky and funny and relatable and hurt and just a joy in this book. Those kids just cracked me up. Especially the older one who was old before his time because he was stepping in for his dad and you could just feel the weight on his shoulders when it came to his younger siblings. This has slightly more than gentle faith, but just barely slightly and it was nothing offensive. Um, this book is funny and it, it will make you laugh out loud. I loved this book. I hope the ladies love it. I will see you on Friday evening. This posts on Saturday after book club. I am filming it on Wednesday before book club. So if they didn't like it, I will leave that in the description down below. Um, this is the first in the series. I am so looking forward to the next in the series. I cannot even tell you. The cover is beautiful. The writing is beautiful and funny. It's clean. It's sweet. It's laugh out loud funny. It has, despite their great wealth, and despite their elevated position in society, these were relatable characters. You could find people you know in characters in that book. And that, for me, is just... 
what makes a book truly work on a fundamental level is when you can relate to multiple characters to someone in your life. And that is this book. I am excited for her back catalog. I cannot wait to read it. And here's hoping everybody loved it as much as I do. Please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you here next time at the Protagonist Pub. So, as promised, it is Saturday morning and Book Club was last night. And I said I would give you an update on what we chose. So, by far the landslide winner for Book Club Choice was The Broken Hearts Bakery by Carla Lorano. And that is not what I ended up choosing for book club. Um, they, there were only four of us last night. Michelle left on vacation. And the average rating for a match in the making was three. They really didn't like it. They found it shallow and annoying and repetitive so while i didn't choose the book for june it was based on one of my recommendations so i decided to give them something a little more up their alley i guess and i went with the game of kings by dorothy dunnett um so two out of the four of us last night really love outlander like our uh, obsessed with Outlander. Candace hasn't read it. As you all know, I despise it. So, this is also set in Scotland. It's 200 odd years before the events in Outlander. Cara also really likes George R. R. Martin, who um, is mentioned on the black back blurb of this cover. So, we shall see. I will let you know next month.